The most significant change to the updated report card is the transition from moment in time grading to end of year standard grading. For example, instead of setting a series of different benchmarks throughout the year on which the grading is based, all grading is based on one end of year goal. Notice the Ranger Cub moving all around to meet the different targets for different points in the school year. Then, to illustrate how teachers will be grading beginning next year, the Ranger Cub is moving along, making progress towards the one end of the year target. In the past, teachers evaluated progress with different benchmarks for each marking period. Notice how the criteria to earn a three changes each marking period. Beginning in the fall, teachers will evaluate students using the end of the year standard, which will be the same target toward which students are progressing. Notice that there are consistent indicators that a student must meet to earn a 3. They do not change over the course of the year. Students' progress will still be indicated by the use of the numbers 1 through 4. These numbers do not correspond to letter grade, for instance, a 4 is not a letter A. These numbers represent where the student is in their progress toward end of year grade level standard. The target will always be the grade level end of year standard. We will report your child's progress toward meeting that end of year standard throughout the course of the year. So it is appropriate to see a 2 in November as students are approaching end of year standards. The goal for students is to be meeting or exceeding end of year standards in June shown by 3s or 4s on the report card. Parents will still access the report cards in Infinite Campus. So if a parent chooses to share the report card with their student, the student will be able to see their growing achievement, moving them toward the goal of meeting the end of year standard, and this will help children focus on a growth mindset where we are always working towards a goal.